What's up guys and welcome back to the hacks spot today's video I'm going to be talking about iOS 11 beta 6 I've been really getting into the new reformers again So I thought this was interesting and why not share all this new information with you guys So here's everything you need to know about the new software update All right, so there are some pretty nice additions and features that have made its way to iOS 11 beta 6 now guys i am coming from ios 11 beta 3 and i just updated to beta 6 and i'm going to be doing future updates and this update on the iphone 6 because i know not everyone has the latest ios device or iphone so the iphone 6 i thought would be a perfect candidate for this i can really see speed improvements and performance updates because they are really going to be evident on older devices so i thought this is the perfect device but anyways before i get started holy crap it's so hot over here but anyways once you have installed ios 11 beta 6 it contains bug fixes and performance improvements so of course that's all it's going to say but there's a lot more to it so first off once you get this software update on your device there's a new animation when unlocking your device with the app icons as i see looks pretty cool let me show you guys that one more time and there you go so before an ios 11 beta 3 it looked like this so let me show you guys that difference once again Boom, that looks pretty awesome. So it's nice to see that icon animation come back. Now the Apple AirPods interface, when you open the case, got a new animation. So every time you open up that case, pop it open, you get this animation right here. And might I say, it looks super sleek, super fresh. I mean, just look at it. Oh, I could just stare at this for days. I just want to lick it. <laughs> but anyways, I love how it rotates. And next, we have a new maps icon. Thank God, the old one looked hideous to me. And this new one, I think, looks a lot more clean. Plus, I have abandoned Google Maps, and I've now been using Apple Maps. It has gotten a lot better. And with Apple CarPlay, I just cannot use Google Maps. So, here's how it looked before. So, it looked like this. And now, with the new refreshed update, here it is. So, there's the new Maps app icon. And not only did the Maps app icon get a change in its look, but the, also the App Store did too. So, here's the new App Store icon. Looks a little bit different, but you guys can definitely notice a change. And there it is. So this is before and this is after. Pretty nice. Also, the updated App Store icon also does appear throughout the entire device in place that it is. So for example, messages, you guys can see that it's also right there too. Now, also go to the clock, the little font with the numbers is a little bit bolder. So a very subtle change. So this is before and I'll get this picture for you guys as an after now unfortunately i don't know why apple does this but if you go to settings wallpaper fish dynamic wallpapers gone now the photos app does have a new splash screen so let's go and open it up for the first time you guys will see this right here what's new in photos and this is what you will see also the reminders app icon has been flipped so you guys can see the three dots before they're on this side now they move to the left also before for your brightness you would go into settings display and you would see auto brightness over there but now, in beta 6, it's not there anymore, so if I go to the same spot, display and brightness, you guys can see that auto brightness is not there anymore. Well, where can you find it now? Well, I don't know why Apple did this, but it's pretty hidden, so you have to go to settings, then go to general, accessibility, and scroll down until you find display accommodations, or actually it's up here. But anyways, once you go ahead and tap on it, you guys can see auto brightness is right over here. So again, not sure why they did that, but I think it was better where it was before. All right, but aside from that, guys, there's just performance updates. You guys can see it's a little bit more fluid. Um, on the iPhone 6, a little still lags behind a little bit, but it's getting a lot better. It feels so much better than beta 3, which I was on previously. All right, but guys, that's basically it. I really like the new Apple AirPods animation and the new icons too. But anyways, if you did enjoy, please be sure to slap a like and also be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. And now I'll keep you guys updated with future updates. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.